I'm here with Michael at Zeiss, and it's very exciting because in my hands, I've got the just announced Loxia 21 millimeter F2.8. And as if that weren't enough to make me really excited, I've been looking to get my hands on this bad boy for a while, the baddest 85 millimeter 1.8. So Michael, take us through it, would you? Okay, of course. Um, yeah, maybe let's start with the, um, the 2.821, which is the third focal length in our Luxia lens family. Um, what is very nice is that we keep, also with this third lens, we keep the form factor. So as the first two focal lengths, we have the same front diameter. So you, our customers can use um, uh, 52 diameter filter. Nice and compact. Nice and compact. That's exactly the, the USP and the difference we have over the Batis lenses. Unique selling proposition. Exactly. So we have uh, three focal lengths now in this lens line. Uh, the difference to the 35 and the 50 is also that this 21 is not coming from a former M mount uh, lens design. It's a brand new lens design which was especially developed for the E mount system. Interesting. And in doing that, what did you focus on? What were the issues that you wanted to address? Of course, with a wide angle lens in such a form factor, in such a small lens, it is very difficult to control, for instance, distortion. So we put a lot of uh, spherical lens elements in there to control that. And uh, I can only tell you, it's, we are here on the, on the same quality level as on our SLR lenses. So you can com really compare this 2.8-21. Fork it over. Really with the 21 of, uh, of Canon and Nikon. Okay. Uh, for Canon and Nikon cameras. I see you've got focus speaking on in the Sony, yes. which is terrific. Yes. And nice. You've also got it set so that when you go to manual focus, it immediately magnifies. Yes. And uh, it is a beautifully shallow depth of field. Yeah, yeah. Love it. You have a 90, I think 95 uh, degree angle of view. It's a beautiful lens. It's a beautiful lens for, even for portrait. I've seen some really nice footage. And I was shooting with it in the last few days here in New York. Really nice. So 21 in, in this, uh, between these skyscrapers really. Really. I, I have to say, and your partnership with Sony has borne wonderful fruit. Yeah. Uh, the designs that are being manufactured to your specification through Sony, yes. really, really nice. I don't mind telling you that this is why I left the Canon fold. Oh, really? Yeah. I can tell you, I have some official data from Germany, from the German market, that Sony basically they they are now number one in interchangeable lens cameras. Really. First time in August they sold more than Canon and Nikon, so it's impressive. Wow. They are really on wow. uh, on the on the real on the right track. Yep. And we have the lenses for them. So we have the Luxia lenses are a manual focus line of lenses. Very very smooth. Very old school, by the way. And since I am old school, I have no problem with that. I love it. But what is not really old school is that you have the opportunity to change um, the, the clicking mechanism. Declick the aperture. Exactly, exactly. So we have an offer also for videographers and more and more people shoot video with these cameras. Yes. So now it's noiseless, it's stepless. That's exactly what the videographer expects from a lens. And they also want manual focusing. They don't want Autofocus. As good as autofocus is, and there are some times when you really do want it, exactly. there's nothing like manual focus, especially with focus peaking and magnification in a mirrorless exactly. body. Exactly. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yep, I'm with you. And now we come uh, basically to the, to the second lens over here. We have the Batis 1.8 um, 85, which is one of two lenses for the E-mount system. Also here, full frame coverage. I can only say, as I'm responsible for sales worldwide, we have huge back orders. Uh, I'm sorry for many customers who have to wait, but it's simply because the system is so popular in the meantime, and we haven't expected. Well, it's a high quality problem to have, that's yes. for sure. Yes. So it's a 1.885, we have an F225, 
and we are working on uh, on the third focal length of course wow that's sharp that is beautiful wow you know i didn't like yellow focus speaking until just now when i <laughs> i mean really beautiful yeah so the difference to the loxia lens line is we do not so much care about the size here we want to have also of course the highest image performance but we have more possibilities with um, electronics here and we have a um, very nice feature first time that a lens manufacturer uses a digital an OLED display basically to indicate the depth of field very nice feature and uh, very interesting yeah especially in low light conditions <laughs> I'm surprised that it's interesting honestly I thought it was a gimmick but you didn't know that uh, I knew that you had it now yeah. Going, yeah yeah okay so what but I have to say given how poor most lenses are with their uh, depth of field scales these days yeah this is quite interesting yeah. very very clean so very nice and it's lightweight it's lightweight I'm actually surprised by yes. that yes it's lightweight I, I mean it's in the end it's made for the whole system which is lightweight it's um, that's it I mean and it's as I said before it's um, it's so popular that um, we really put most of our efforts into this system now Batis and Loxia Interesting. And so so we develop new focal lengths of course for this so whole. when are we going to see and I don't know if you can answer this question when are we going to see uh, 180 to 280 prime telephoto in e-mount in e-mount 180 200 okay uh, maybe this is a longer way to go because we still have more interesting focal length in terms of what strikes your fancy a 135 or what are you thinking 135 is nice yes even uh, super wide angle lenses um, look at the loxia lens range at the moment we have a 21 35 50 people are waiting for like 85 towards 100 yeah, you know? yeah. makes uh, sense yeah well these are beautiful lenses they're beautifully constructed you didn't need me to tell you that you've read about it and seen it on YouTube ad nauseum but there's a reason for it Michael thank you so much for taking the time thank you you really terrific nice Guys, to meet you we'll see you next time